Hi students, welcome to our physics class now. So in this class we are going to learn about the derivation of expression for the intensity at a point where interference occurs. So it is a topic in wave, waves of, wave optics chapter in intermediate second year physics. For 4 marks most important students. So in the material you can find this is a short answer question number third one expression for the intensity at a point where interference occurs. So you can see <coughs> in the figure S is the monochromatic source of light. S is the monochromatic source of light. So monochromatic source of light means the source of light which produces the light with a single wavelength and a single color. The source of light which produces the light wave with a single wavelength and which has a only single color is called the monochromatic source of light. And this is the obstacle like object. So here two holes are there S1 and S2. So you can understand S1 and S2 are two slits or holes. Distance between them is small d. Midpoint between them is O. So between S1 and S2, the midpoint is O and XY is the screen. So these dotted lines are normals to the wave, normals. So this is a wave coming from S1, this is a wave coming from S2. Wave coming from S1, wave coming from S2 and XY is the screen. So <coughs> now interference friends, first what is the interference? The phenomena of formation of maximum and minimum pattern in the form of a bright band of light and dark band of light when the two light waves combine. When the two light waves combine, interference phenomena can be identified in the form of bright band of light and dark band of light that is maximum intensity at one point and minimum intensity at another point consecutively can be found so the phenomena of formation of maximum intensity and minimum intensity in the resultant wave due to so interference of two waves so let us is the monochromatic source of light s1 s2 are the two slits nothing but two holes students you can understand s1 and s2 are the two holes so these two holes are acting as a secondary source of light which are also releasing the waves small a1 and small a2 are the amplitudes of two waves coming from s1 and s2 pi is the phase difference between two waves y1 and y2 equal to displacement of two waves so now the in the previous, uh, that is in the waves chapter, we studied the displacement of the waves. So, we know that y1 is a1 sin omega t, a2 is sin omega t plus pi, where pi is the uh, phase difference between the two waves. Students, from the principle of superposition of two waves, the resultant displacement is given as y is y1 plus y2. So, now, this implies y is equals to y1 means displacement of the first wave a1 sin omega t plus a2 sin omega t plus pi so now students it is in the form of sin of a plus b here a is omega t and pi is b so which can be written as so this can be written as that is you can write in bracket sin of a plus b is equals to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So this formula can be applied for this uh, expansion students. So y is equals to a1 sin omega t plus a2 of sin a that is a means omega t sin a cos b cos pi plus cos a cos omega t sin pi so this implies y is equals to a1 sin omega t multiplying with these students a2 
சைன் ஓமேகா டி காஸ் பை ப்ளஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஏ டு சைன் பை காஸ் ஓமேகா டி ஃபார் அவர் கன்வீனியன்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட்டு வி ஹவ் ரிட்டன் சைன் பை தென் காஸ் ஓமேகா டி இஸ் ரிட்டன் நெக்ஸ்ட் நவ் ஹியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஒய் இஸ் இ கோஸ் டு you can see here sin omega t here sin omega t so sin omega t is a constant is common quantity then here a1 plus a2 cos pi plus a2 sin pi cos omega t so now let a1 ஒன் ப்ளஸ் ஏ டூ காஸ் பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ காஸ் தீட்டா கன்சிடர் இட் இஸ் ஈக்வேஷன் ஒன் ஏ டூ சைன் பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ சைன் தீட்டா இட் இஸ் ஈக்வேஷன் நம்பர் டூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கன்சிடரிங் ஜஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கன்சிடரிங் ஏ ஒன் ப்ளஸ் ஏ டூ காஸ் பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ காஸ் தி காஸ் தீட்டா ஏ டூ சைன் பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ ஒன் ப்ளஸ் ஏ டூ காஸ் பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ காஸ் தீட்டா ஏ டூ சைன் பை ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ சைன் தீட்டா ஸோ நவ் ஃப்ரம் த அபவ் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் த அபவ் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஃப்ரம் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் யூசிங் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஒன் அண்ட் ஈக்குவேஷன் டூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் In the place of a1 plus a2 cos pi, we can write a cos theta. In the place of a2 sin pi, we can write a sin theta. So this implies y equal to sin omega t a cos theta plus a2 sin, th sin pi means we can write a sin theta and cos omega t. So this implies y is equals to a of sin omega t cos theta plus sin theta cos omega t. So you can see students if you take if you take sin omega t and cos theta sin theta cos omega t it is sin a cos b plus cos sin sin a cos b and cos a sin b cos a sin b so if you write this one here you can understand easily you can see students If you take a omega t as a a and theta b, sin a cos b, cos a sin b. So from this form, from the formula sin of a plus b, so it is equal to sin of omega t plus theta. So this is the resultant displacement of the given equation. resultant displacement of the resultant wave so here you want to remember students sin omega t is a sin a cos theta means cos b and cos a sin b so which is equal to sin of a plus b so here we have sin of a plus b is equals to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so the using this formula it is written students now now <coughs> squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 students squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 so first on the right side parts of both equations that is a cos theta and a sin theta so we are squaring and adding a square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta so here it you can see students 1 square plus 2 square equation 1 whole square plus equation 2 whole square 
that is from the equation 1 and equation 2 left to side terms are squared and added now we are squaring and adding that is first to right side terms are squared and added students first to right side terms right side terms are added and squared so then left to side terms students a1 plus a2 cos pi whole square plus a2 sin pi whole square now a square if you take a square is a common cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 students which is equal to now this is in the form of a plus b whole square a1 square plus a2 square cos square pi plus 2 a1 a2 cos pi and this will be a2 square sin square pi so now a square is equals to a1 square plus a2 square a2 square cos square pi plus a2 square sin square pi students so if you take this one as a a2 square is a common cos square pi sin square pi plus 2a1 a2 cos pi so this implies a square is equals to a1 square plus this will be a2 square students plus 2a1 a2 cos pi so let a1 is equals to a2 is equals to a so this is we are taking students let a1 is equals to a2 is equals to a but you know the two waves are having amplitudes a1 and a2 the wave coming from s1 wave coming from s2 having a amplitudes a1 and a2 so those those amplitudes are equal now let this is a so now this is equation number three students so from equation number three we can write this is a square is equals to a1 square means a square a2 square means a square plus 2 a1 a2 means 2 a square a1 is a a2 is a students cos pi so this implies capital a square is equals to 2 a square plus 2 a square cos pi so now the capital a square is equals to 2 a square of 1 plus cos pi now here students we want to use the concept 1 plus cos theta equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 this is the basic formula we want to use 1 plus cos theta equal to 2 cos square 2 cos square theta by 2 so according to that a square is equals to a square is equals to 2a square into 2 cos square pi by 2 this implies capital a square is equals to 4a square cos square pi by 2 where capital a is the resultant amplitude of resultant wave small a is the amplitude of the individual wave we know that we know that intensity of the resultant wave i is a square intensity is a square that is resultant wave amplitude square of amplitude of the resultant wave equal to intensity and also i naught equal to a square that is intensity of the individual wave equal to square of its amplitude intensity of the resultant wave is square of its amplitude so this implies yeah a square means we can write what capital i equal to 4 i naught cos square pi by 2 so this is uh, intensity this is the intensity at a point intensity of the wave at a point where the interference occurs students now 
so when will be the intensity maximum and when will be the intensity is a minimum so formation of minimum intensity and maximum intensity so pattern can be found in the interference that is in the form of bright band of light and dark band of light so maximum intensity condition condition for maximum intensity student so what is the maximum intensity condition condition for maximum intensity so when will be the maximum intensity and minimum intensity takes place during the interference that is it depends on phase so between between them using the concept of phase difference we can explain the maximum and the minimum intensity students so maximum condition for maximum intensity condition for maximum intensity but we know that interference pattern interference is nothing but the phenomena of formation of maximum intensity and minimum intensity so when the two uh, when the two waves having same amplitude and frequency traveling along the so along the same path in the same medium in the same direction when they superimpose when the soup when they superimpose that is the maximum intensity can be found in the form of bright band of light and minimum intensity can be found in the form of dark band of light so now condition for maximum intensity when pi is equals to when the phase difference is 2n pi where n value is 0 1 1 2 3 and so on then uh, then i value will be maximum which is equal to 4 i naught so it is a condition for maximum and the minimum intensity students minimum intensity minimum intensity so when the phase difference between the waves when the phase difference between the waves is pi is equals to 2n plus 1 into pi 2n plus 1 into pi where n is equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on then i will be equal to 0 so it is the condition for it is the condition for minimum intensity so when the when pi is equals to when the phase difference between the two waves is 2 n pi where n value is 0 1 2 3 and so on the i value will be equal to 4 i naught that is intensity is a maximum when pi is equals to when pi is equals to n plus 1 pi where n is 0 1 2 3 and so on then i is equals to 0 so this is these are the conditions for maximum and minimum intensity so you can see students again from the top most important for four marks so s1 s2 are the two slits s is the mono <coughs> monochromatic source of light distance between them is small d and o is the midpoint between s1 and s2 x y is the screen so at this point so this is the point p where interference occurs it is the point p where interference occurs so this is the wave this is the wave coming from s1 and s2 both are having same amplitude same frequency and same wavelength so at the point p they are inter they are undergoing interference so at this point so maximum intensity and minimum intensity so this maximum and minimum intensity patterns are called interference so you can see students <coughs> 